Hello everyone! Hi we... everybody! <laughs> we are in celebration mode because today we have a special video. The previous video of us two um, is speaking Greek, or me trying to speak Greek according to you, and you actually <laughs> speaking proper Greek, uh, reached 30,000 views. So, uh, well, I can't believe it. I don't know if you can believe it. I can't believe it either. <laughs> <laughs> you, you had no faith in this project? No, no, I had no idea that us recording in our living room. <laughs> <laughs> yes, back in the day we yes. used to live together yeah. and we were just like, yeah, yeah, you know, let's make a video, it will be fun. I read this, you read that, yeah, let's talk. Yeah. We normally do this in our kitchen, laughing with each other, how we yeah. pronounce things, let's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like a pastime. And, and it turned out to have a very good reception by you guys. So uh, in order to, you know, celebrate that it reached 30,000 uh, views, and it's more by, by the time this will be released, I suppose. Uh, we're making it again. <laughs> yes, yes, more entertainment by the two accents and yes. pronunciations. Yes, also better edition, um, because it, it has this thing that I was just starting with the channel when this, um, this video happened. It was like January last year, if I remember yeah. correctly. And my editing skills were non-existent. It's not that they're <laughs> amazing nowadays, but uh, they're, they have improved. And I see the videos like, Okay, well, and people like it. I mean, like, I'm surprised. Like, it's a good video, I think, yes. in contents. But uh, yeah, I mean, now we have a very nice microphone, etc. I think it was very spontaneous, to be honest. Yes, <laughs> and we're sticking to that actually in this video. Yes, yeah. We haven't rehearsed anything, so who knows what will happen? Uh, as you can see, we have a book here from Aristotle. Uh, we're going to read Aristotle today. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit later. I think you can read. Uh, uh, yes, maybe, but it's mirrored, so I don't know. Yeah, mirrored for so. us. No, no, it's not. That's the one. So, the arte poetica liber, that's in Latin. Um, so, Aristotle's Poetics. What's it called in, in Greek? Pimata. Pimata. Okay, interesting. So, um, so, yeah, that's one thing. The other is that we received many comments uh, from people in, in that video, it's like, like more than 350 comments yes, at yes. least. Super expected angry people of how to come pronounce it. <laughs> I mean, they insult me on in real life when I talk in ancient Greek, so it's fine. Like, uh, angry you, Greek men. You deserve men. it. You yeah, deserve yeah, yeah, it, yeah. right? <laughs> angry Greek men normally, like, shouting at me. and Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I have videos of people, you know, being thankful of, for showing these differences. Um, you have uh, your, your own fan club as well. Yeah, thank <laughs> in, you so much, guys. Yeah, in, in the comments. Um, so, yeah, so... I assume that you will like this second try. So, uh, we shall proceed to read a passage from Aristotle's Poetics. Uh, I will show now, unlike the other video, what we're reading at yes. <laughs> the time we're reading it. And yeah, and hope you guys like it very much. Yes. Uh, would you like to start? Do I start? Yes, yes. Okay, the, you start. I'll, I'm going to pass it to, to the king okay. of accents. <laughs> the king of accents. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you, you, you hold it. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, we uh, we uh, make the, reactions together. Yes, okay. The, the, the support um, team. The mango. <coughs> the mango? No, it's, it's an orange. It's orange, an orange, okay. An actual orange. And a sheep. <laughs> so, the title is Aristotelus eh, Peripoietikes. Peripoietikes autes de kai ton aidon autes, gentina dynamin hekaston eche, kai post de sinistas tae tus mythus e melle calos hexen hepoiesis. Eti de ek poson kai poion estimorion, homoios de kai periton allon, josates autes estimethodu. Legomen, arxamenoi. Cataphysin proton apoton proton. Epopoia de caegetestragoidias. Eh, poiesis. <laughs> poiesis eti de comoidia. Caegetisirambo poietique. Caegetesauletiques. Ge pleiste. Caegetisaristiques. Pasae tuhanus inusae. Mimeseis tosunolon. De aferus ide alelon trisin. Egar toi en heterus mimeistae. Etoi hetera. Etoi heteros. Me ton auton tropon. It sounds like. <laughs> yes. I didn't see your face. I didn't want to get this too distracted. I, yeah, I could no, feel oh, the cringe. I was trying, I, I was trying to, to locate like this kind of language somewhere. And the only country I could think of is like natives of America. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, something that has lots of. Oh, <laughs> So that's like far from Greek. Poetic, that far a from lot of, Greek. Uh, phonetic, not poetic. A lot of phonetic, like pronunciation. So, <laughs> so that far from Greek, it sounds to mm. you what I just did. Mm -hmm. Well, 
for better or worse, because this will be an ongoing debate, I, I suppose, on the channel, uh, for better or worse, this is the way we are taught in universities to pronounce ancient Greek. Um, it may be not accurate, it also adapts to the different accents. I mean, my native language is Spanish, as many of you know. Yes. Uh, so it has some you know, Spanish-speaking flavors, uh, but people who, who, who are native of English do some different things. Those in French is like another world to me when they speak in ancient Greek. Germans, they have different flavors as well, Italians, etc. So, but, but still, the effort is to pronounce it sort of like this. And um, and then you go to Greece or you speak to Greek people who have been you know taught uh, ancient Greek, and you pronounce it like the way closer to the way you speak nowadays, right? Exactly. Not not close. Like exactly. 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 As, <laughs> you see, see, as you will see. As you will see. So so yeah. But about the evolution of the language, the way I pronounce it is closer to the fifth and half of the fourth century BC. Um, and then uh, it, it starts very quickly going towards the way you pronounce it, especially yeah. from Koine, as we go. <laughs> Kine, you pronounce it in Kine Greek? Yes. yes. Um, and then onwards, it's extremely close to, to, to what you pronounce it uh, nowadays. But I stick to my thing because that's the way I learned. Uh, it's, not, it's not that I want to annoy people. <laughs> it's like, I mean, once you have mastered it somehow, you stick to it because you want yes. to translate or you want to do things with the language. No, absolutely. And just to add on that, also at the university, we were told that this is the way that people learn how to do it in universities. That's like the, it has become the universal way of pronouncing um, ancient Greek. Yeah. Um, so. yeah. Which is called you know, Erasmian for comfort. Yes. And, and I call it Erasmian still. But if you look at the actual Erasmus, there are little differences little. and then it evolved a little bit. Um, to to what I'm pronouncing it just uh, now. However, I must say that Greeks always, academics or not, they always pronounce ancient Greek the new way. Okay, <laughs> the, the new way. <laughs> <laughs> or the right way. Yeah. <laughs> what, what would you call it? <laughs> okay, it's so. My turn. Yes. Are you ready? Si. Okay. 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 <laughs> Let's go. Let's go slowly. Right. Περιποιητική αυτή στε και των ειδών αυτή είναι την αδύναμη έκαστον έχει και πώ δι συνίστασθε του μύθου ή μέλη καλώ έξιν η ποιήση, έτι δε εκ πόσων και ποιον εστί μορίων, ομοίω δε και περί των άλλων όσο τη αυτή εστί μεθόδου, λέγουμε να αρξάμενη καταφύση πρώτον από τον πρώτον. Εποποιία, 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 οκ. Δι και η τη τραγωδία ποιήση. Έτι δε κομμωδία και η διθεραμβοποιητική και της αυλητικής η πλήστη και κιθαριστικής πάσε την χάνουση ούσε μιμήσεις των σύνολων. Διαφέρουσι δε αλλήλων τρισίν, η γάρτο ενετέρης μιμήστε ή το ετέρα ή το έτερος, ετέρος, sorry, και μη των, των αυτών τρόπων. I think the word I was post, I want you to read it again. How you say τραγωδίας? Tragoideas. That, 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 that's, that's, uh, that's an actual in interesting point because uh, you have the uh, IOTA subscript. Uh, it's yes, yes, <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. So, in, in, so, so th there's not a universal convention for this actually when we are taught in, in unis. Fair enough. The, where I learned in Chile, um, my professor was very insistent on pronouncing it because it will help you to remember that there's it's something there. there. There's an I IOTA something happening in that in that word, and it, it was actually extremely useful uh, in the introduction. I will leave on, on, on the description the, the related useful links for, for this video. And in the introduction and, um, and in some of the videos in, in which I deal with the, the IOTA subscript, I, I recommend people to pronounce it because of this. It's very easy to remember, okay, there must be IOTA happening here. You write it down correctly. And since we don't speak <laughs> ancient Greek, we, and I, you don't even write, you very rarely compose ancient Greek, and well, I do to, to some of my friends, no, not just one friend, actually, uh, who can take, take these steps. The nerd friends. They're, they're, they're very nerd crew. Um, uh, we are, we're happy with this now. Um, yes. Yeah, I, the, the IOTA subscript, it, it, it's a thing. But sometimes in the UK, for instance, people tend not to pronounce it and just like plow through the, the word and uh, appealing that you will remember where, where to put it. And uh, I, I think there's no, not a massive convention on this. I haven't seen it. I, I met professors from many countries and it's not... To be honest here, okay. I, don't, I don't know and I cannot understand why there is this... Um, how is it in... What, the, the IOTA subscript? Yes, yeah. subscript. 
Subscript. Yeah. Yeah. Fair It's very difficult to pronounce. Um, subscript. Subscript. Yes. yes. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't know. Like in other words, I can understand. Like mm -hmm. in the. Um, I know no words in English about the place. <laughs> Wait, Show me, show me, because I, I don't get it that fast when you pronounce it in your way. Uh, no, I'm, I'll see if we find something here. Um, we had, fuck. If um, no, no, like this one. Ah, toy. So yes, that's a... Or he, or this one. That's or, a dative, yeah. masculine or neuter yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. dative yes. article. Or if you have it, not just in the article, but also yeah. in the noun or the adjective. Yes. Like. Because, because you now eliminated that case in, in Greek. Yes, you, Like the genitive absorbed all the functions of it. Like. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. It does exist in very few cases and people don't know, mostly. Yeah. It's like surprising. For example, <laughs> when, we, when we say Vox of the Theo. Like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. For God's yeah. sake. Like, yes. Yeah. Um, this is actually this case. It yeah. should be written with um, omega. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, good. I, I like that you but keep But nobody saying. does it. <laughs> we all just say, uh, yeah, we use it like with the Omicron. Yeah. So, for instance, su, like su, su leo. Yeah. Uh, that su is like to you, literally, in, in, in modern Greek, but that's genitive. Mm -hmm. And in genitive, in, in, in the Greek, I am used to read the su is just of you, of you. Like, of you and, and that's it. So, very interesting. So, what words could you understand from from this text, if any? Or did you, did you understand the, the... When you were reading? No, no. Aksa, many. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, I got one. What? What? <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't. No, no. I, I, I assumed that you would not understand much of what I was going to say. Especially because of your cringing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult when you're cringing. Also, by, by saying tragoidea, it reminds me of idea, which is like disgusting. Right? <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> no, but when you yeah. read it, uh, what I understood. could you get anything from... I mean, obviously, the meaning of the text is different from understanding separate words. I think if I separate, I understand every single word. Right. Like, I don't think I had any words that I couldn't say, oh, what... This word no happens. surprises today. Yes, um, maybe you pick one and I say what it, well, it meant to me. We commented a little bit about this uh, like earlier. Yes, yes. In my yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. pronunciation that yes. you you told me that it still exists or like uh, yes, like a version of it. Like we can say um, or mm -hmm. and we can use this adjective to follow. Um, like a noun, maybe about comments somebody making the theorem because holia, like this word comment, mm -hmm. um, which basically means like exceptionally good right, and okay. long, like exceptionally good and many in quantity comments. Yeah, like the summa cum laude in Latin, like when they put this in your exactly. diploma. Or like that. Yes, yes. Okay, yes, cool, yes. cool, cool. Just but is, is it a common word to, to, to hear in? No, like in the street? I mean, absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> That's often the case. Isn't it? Yeah, I heard it recently, actually. Uh, but yeah, I was surprised. I was like, what the fuck? Who knows this word apart from me in the world? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the nerds, of course. Yes, yes, The nerds exactly. are always there. We are well, always like, there <laughs> yes, <laughs> to, yes. to, to, to support you when, when you're feeling like nostalgic from some certain words. I'm thankful for them. Thankful for them. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't be here if you weren't. Yes. Uh, the, the, uh, it's deeply appreciated, I would, mm -hmm. I, I would say, and and I hope people people like this. So uh, I just want to make a, a little announcement because uh, we have read right the the text. However, uh, we will also translate it, but not 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 us too. Uh, I will make a future video after this one in which I will read exactly this passage. Uh, read it my way only because the other way the other the other way escapes me, as, as they say. Uh, we would say <laughs> in, in the Greek. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so I will translate step by step this passage that we just uh, addressed because there are, there are many styles of uh, translation. So I will share my thoughts as I'm having them because what I've realized is that they give you homework normally for this. And it's like, okay, translate this. You have the vocabulary, you have the rules. Go do it. However, never in all these years I've been into in these things. Anyone has said, okay, I'm thinking of this, then this, step by step, like, for instance, some people like to find the verb first. And in this passage we read, you, you're one of those, good. 
But in this passage in particular, the verb is super far from the start <laughs> of the sentence. It's super, super far. So you're reading the first and you're trying to translate you don't understand much. Or the people try to find the nominative in the sentence when the sentence is short. So you have the subject of the, uh, of the sentence and then the verb and then whatever. Others uh, may have a more intuitive approach of starting by the known words. That's also very useful. Now you start by the things you know. Okay, this is this. And I'm very clear about this. Let's check the rest. So I will translate it in using all these different approaches. So I hope it will be useful for you guys. Um, and again, I mean, like a massive thanks. 30,000 was not even in, in, in my dreams of, of anything. <laughs> Don't tell us about your dreams now. No, no, no. It's not no, the time. It's no. not the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, very weird dreams. But... Uh, but still, this it, is a very niche, let's say, kind of uh, content. I mean, I, I know that in Greece, people, of course, love it. Um, some people in the U.S. are also the, the, the other very popular ones to, to, to comment on these people studying biblical uh, Greek. Um, but, but still very, very niche, right? So, so it, it's very exciting for me to know, OK, there are lots of people interested in something that I, yes. I'm also excited about. And I yes. never expected to have a good reception. Yes, yes. So like... And he, he does manage. He sends me a message every week about the news <laughs> <laughs> increasing. <laughs> so I know for the first thousand, like every little step. <laughs> yeah, not every day. Come on. Like, every I didn't week. say every day. No, every no, no, week. every week. Is okay. No, it's not that regular. Come on. I would love to, but I think it would be too much of spam. <laughs> however, however, if this uh, still keeps, you know, getting popular, you would be receiving it like every week. It would be cool, though. Imagine a thousand one, a thousand views per week. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Um, it would be really, really amazing. But uh, I would like to thank you once more, Joanna, for being here. Uh, I will leave in the description below the, um, uh, the first video we made, which you can check so you can understand why we are laughing and being very happy. Yes, I'm uh, blonder now, but... Yeah, but I mean, we all change. I'm... <laughs> My hair is sort of the same, I think, from that video. I don't know. I haven't changed. My, the glasses are different, mm -hmm. but you cannot tell. Uh, I'm, I guarantee you they're different. And uh, yeah, well, thanks for being there. I hope you like this other one, this other attempt at comparing uh, these two ways of pronouncing. And if you have any questions, please leave them on the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, also, subscribe, like, share, uh, disseminate the knowledge of us, the nerds. And or the entertainment. Or the entertainment. I mean, I, I have a nice time now. Really. Anything. <laughs> anything. Anything you like. So, please, kisses for everyone. Thank you very much for being there. And see you next time. See you soon. Bye. Bye.